So a current dialysis machine is the size of a refrigerator, and the key component in that is a dialysis cartridge that's about two square meters of surface area. To get the same amount of filtration, we need 1 20th in the silicon filter. So we take these membranes, cut them into little squares. We test each of the individual membranes for how do they perform in terms of filtration. We challenge it with water and particles in the water that are very small. And we see how much water comes out and what particles come out. And Steve here is basically helping test the performance of this filter in a little cartridge. This information then gets fed back to the people that are helping us on membrane design or people who are helping us on surface modifications. Uh, we'd like to make sure that blood doesn't clot in silicon. So here I work with Zohora to basically take the membranes we have and we can coat them with special molecules that make them blood friendly. 3D printing is a big step in sort of helping us prototype. And you can design different versions so we can look at it. Part of engineering is you gotta look and feel. Is the right size? Can a surgeon implant that? We're testing and optimizing each of those components individually to so make them as best as they can be and then eventually bring them together. So what we have here is the prototype model. This is fake blood. Coming out here is our fake urine. In practice, we won't need a pump because the silicon membranes are so efficient that our body's own blood pressure will be able to drive the filtration. And I feel excited when you're making progress.